What is going on, everybody? For those who don't know, I go by BLSG, and this is another Eagles video. If you are new to the channel, and if you love talking Philly sports every single day, hit that subscribe button. Now, I just want to say this because I feel like I have to say it in every single one of my videos, which just sucks. My videos are not for kids. But with all that being said, let's jump in to today's topic. So today's topic, so we all know how Marquise Goodwin opted out for the Philadelphia Eagles. We all know how he opted out. But the only reason was he was afraid his family was going to get COVID and he just decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and opt out and hang out with my family. And that's exactly what he did. So, like, is there going to be a replacement? Is there like, going to be a replacement for Marcus Goodwin? If any of these receivers, like Deshaun Jackson, Jalen Rager, or Alshon Jeffrey, is there going to be a replacement for Marcus Goodwin if one of those guys get injured? I mean, that is what we are going to discuss today. And oh, by the way, it helps this content, and this pushes it out to other Philly fans. So, with all that being said, let's continue on with the topic. So, we all... So, Mark Marquis Goodwin, he literally decided to opt out for family reasons. Just to be with his family and make sure they don't get the COVID... So, is there going to be a replacement for him? I would think so. But, what do you guys think? Do you think that there's going to be a Marquise Goodwin replacement? Type Y down below in the comments for yes. Type N down below for no. And if you say yes, who do you think the Eagles are going to pick up with their... Maybe, I don't know how much they have, like a, maybe 11 million of cap space left. But they for next year, are in so much danger for cap space. They are, like, in really bad shape. But thank goodness that Howie Roseman is a god of taking care of cap space issues. So, for me, personally, if you guys were to basically ask me what I would say, I would say we do get a replacement. But some replacements would be, like, Demarius Thomas is a free agent. Um... Tavon Austin. Nah, those two guys. I like to. I like Demarius Thomas. I like Demarius Thomas a lot. I think he would be a big boost to our offense, and we would have another speedy offense. And Demarius Thomas would just get himself going. But the thing is, with J.D. Arcega Whiteside, he also had a bad season, and with the new wide receiver coach in Jason Avant, he should be able to get. J.J. Arcega Whiteside on the ball unless they opt, decide to opt him out, too. So, I think Tavon Austin will get signed by the Eagles unless if J.J. Arcega Whiteside can step up this season. Fo followed by John Hightower and Quest Watkins, which we know are going to step up big time. They're going to be big wide receiver, wide receiver factors for this offense. They will be big time wide receiver factors. And I just hope that we can just get on the ball here. So I think we could sign Demarius Thomas. I don't think Tavon Austin is like that great. I mean, he was a backup for Dallas. He wasn't a starter, so he's not he's not gonna be great. But I just think that we could use another receiver, and I think Demarius Thomas is gonna be our guy. I haven't heard much of anything else, so Tavon Austin and Demarius Thomas were my only two options that I heard. And I think that Demarius Thomas, if we sign him, will be back to having a speedy roster because Demarius Thomas has had like an up and down year, and I think he can get it going this year with new wide receiver coach Jason Avant, who is a former Eagles wide receiver who I think will help all these receivers to train hard when they catch balls from Carson Wentz. They will be huge factors, like you have no idea. They just they just have probably one of the best wide receiver coaches in Jason Avant, because Jason Avant actually has the experience. 
So if he has the experience, then these wide receivers will get the best experience that they ever had from a master of being a receiver. So let me know what you think. Do we really need a replacement for Jason Avant? Not Jason Avant. Um, Marquise Goodwin for family reasons. Do we really need a replacement, or is J.J. Arcega Whiteside or one of these guys gonna step up for us? So let me guys know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Like, do we need another wide receiver to sign on the roster? I might think so, because I don't know if J.J. Arcega Whiteside will step up this season or not. But I think he will with wide receiver coach Jason Levant. And let's just hope and pray that we will have another good roster this season. I mean, with Jason Levant, that is a huge upgrade. I believe the wide receiver coach that got fired was like Mike Grow or Groff or something like that. I think he was the wide receiver coach originally. And then we went out and signed and we went out and got Jason Avant. So let's just hope that these wide receivers will step up with Jason Avant on our side. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoy it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and the notification bell to see more videos like this. And if you like what I do, please just subscribe. Every every person who subscribes really helps in my life. And my Q&A video will be coming out sometime soon. I just need questions from you guys down in the comments of any of my videos. And YouTube better not to say in my comments. So that way you guys can ask me any questions that you have. And we'll do the... Not only are we going to get to a, like a Q&A video, but we're also going to get to a video that are, involves more people opting out for before the NFL season starts. Because we need to be down to 53 by the NFL, by the time the NFL season starts. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Peace out.